Good morning and welcome to my channel. My name is Mary and I do videos on makeup. So I'm glad you tuned in. Today I'm going to have a makeup done with Laura Geller. Well, um, Ulta was having a sale when I went in and they had 75% off their Laura Geller makeup. So for $9.58 I got this Laura Geller Filter First foundation. It says it's a luminous foundation. So let's go ahead and try it and see how it looks. I already primed my skin with uh, the oil and my poor, No More Poor Problem by Benefit. That's my favorite primer. Okay, so this is the, the looks of the Foundation, the color looks nice. Let's see how it goes in with my skin. I might have put a little too much on my face here. Let's see. Oh, yeah. It's a full coverage. You can see right away. It's a full coverage. It goes on really nicely. Really nicely. Oh, it blends out on the skin really easily. Really easily. Okay, so if I had any extra, I seem to have moved it all around. Let's try this side now. It's really nice coverage. I think I matched my color fairly well, too. I'm using this uh, brush by It Cosmetics. It's a foundation brush. Uh, afterward, maybe I'll go uh, over it with a different brush to help set it and it looks like I can use another little dab of my foundation let's see I'll tell you what color I got I think this one was the fair oh porcelain I don't usually get porcelain but in this um, in this line of makeup the porcelain one came out good for me I usually use a couple a couple levels higher than a porcelain and I usually go with a, a light or a sand color. Beige works good for me too. Um, I like to read what they say in the commentary. If they say uh, cool with yellow undertones, I don't get that one because I have pink undertones and I like a warm foundation. So I read what they say in the notes below the colors to try to explain what color you're going to get. And I usually go with a fair with pink and beige, pink and peach undertones. Okay, so this one looks like this one on really nicely. This is a really nice foundation. Full coverage. It covers fully. Okay, now just put a few little dabs around here and I'll show you. What I've been doing next to get my foundation to go in. Of course, it's not really dried down yet. It's still a little bit moist on my skin. So, let's just give it a minute. I'll show you what I'm going to do to help it go into my skin a little bit more. There's a tiny bit left on that. Okay. All right. This brush, it, uh, it's a foundation brush. And what I do with this, I can use this for my beauty blender. I just go like this and I help the makeup go in a little bit more, right into the skin, just like that. It makes a nice smooth look and helps it dry down. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just wiping some off my brows. Okay, I'm just gonna pause for a minute, get my brows on, and I'll be back in just a minute. 
Okay, we got my lashes on. So now, I put some white eyeshadow in the inner corners and lavender on the bottom. I wanted to spray my brush a little bit because there's a color in this Too Faced palette that I want to do my lower lashes with. And it's this color right up here in the top left hand side, that brown. So what I like to do is I wet the brush a little bit, which is giving it some, yeah, it gives it a little bit more of a color when you put it on. So I'm going to go to my lower lash and just outline my lower lash just a little bit with this color. I can use this color too on my upper lash and to do the, um, and to do the, where I would use eyeliner if I want. But I think I'm just going to use this as a lower for the lower lash, see how it comes out. I'm going really close to the lash line right here. I'm trying not to go down to the skin below the lash line. Just identifies the lower lash a little bit better like that. Looks nice. And I paired it with that lavender color just to bring some brightness. All right, just try one more time to get a little more right along the lash line there. Okay. And I think I'm gonna put a lavender on my waterline. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? Okay. So next, I need just to turn around real quick and get a mascara. Let's use this one. Too Faced Mascara, since we're using the Too Faced palette all morning, so here we go. My lashes went on fairly nicely. I like it when I get a pair and they fit me this every time the same way. I like that. Got to have some dexterity here when you're doing your lower lashes. It's nice if you can get them on without having them clump. And this mascara is really good. All right, now, let's see. That does it for my lashes. Oops, excuse me, noise. Uh, let me see if I have my lavender pencil here. I'm gonna grab my pencil. I'm looking for my lavender one. Okay. Let's see how this does on the waterline. Okay, how's that? Come back, uh, came out better on this side. Let's try this other color on the other side of it, which is a little bit lighter. It's more of a blue. There it goes, a little bit more. My waterline is watering now. It doesn't want to take the color. But let's see. We got that far. My blush. Okay. All right. Now, what I want to do to finish off the look is I want to um, go in and add some brown eyeliner. And I'm going to put that on next. And that's going to go on my top my top line and it's it's what it's a liquid so it goes on really easily so 
sometimes you have to be careful because the liquid can get away from you. But so far, so good. A little darker down here. Let's put a little more on my left lid and we're just about done. All right, there we go. I try not to get it on my lashes. And then just like that. All right. Got a little bit of mascara down here. I'm gonna just take this little wand, put a tad bit right there, and we'll just pat that in there. Oh, okay. There we go. I have one that has moisture. Remember that happened to the lower lash? I have one that has moisture. I've saved this for years. This is a new by Avon. It has the white part has been mostly worn off because I've been using it. There we go. So if you get a little mascara down on the lower lash, you can just go like that and cover it. It's sometimes easier to cover it than it is to um, try to wipe it off. Okay, so you can go about your day. You can cover it, go about your day. And then I just take a little brush to make sure that all goes in. I had set it with the setting powder earlier. All right, so last but not least is lipstick. So we're going to get our lipstick on to go with the coral on the eyes. I got a coral lipstick from Milani. And another thing I like to do too with my lips is I like to put a little foundation on my lips before I put my lipstick. Um, I think it feels better to have foundation on my lips before my lipstick and I think it keeps my lipstick from staining my lips because some lipsticks are very um, have a very uh, intense dye so rather than having it stain my lips I put my foundation on and then I'll go on and add my lipstick. Alright here we go let's see how this looks So this completes my coral look for today. I hope you like it. Um, the, the main thing I used was a Too Faced palette, my Laura Geller foundation and luminous foundation. And then um, I used my Santee bronzer from the dollar store. Okay, so that does my makeup look for today. My lashes are on. So I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you in my next video.